That would be Brooke's old show cow, Amy. And her new baby. I kind of wondered when I walked by and I couldn't see anything, but she's just laying there chewing her cud. When uh, she's been kind of uncomfortable the last couple of days. So, we say welcome to the world, baby. Hi. And that one was kind of looking over here like, I got a friend. Just trying to get up. This is like the third attempt because I wasn't quick enough with the camera. Because I had to get up on the feeder to see. I just, you know, had that feeling this morning. If Brooke would uh, slow down and check on her way out to work, she would have known that she had a calf. I'm sure Tylen will spoil it and let her know. Or Becky will spoil it and let her know. Otherwise, she ought to just wait till she gets home tonight to find out. But I'm going to go uh, sneak her over. Well, sneak Amy and her calf, since I don't know what it is yet, over where Lena is, where it's cleaner, and get her marked on the board. When you can't find places to put stuff, there's other spots that box with the refrigerant bottle will fit. It'll fit in the right front corner with the oxyacetylene bottles. That's about it. Or it'll fit in the second one back on the other side. But that's where the corded power tools are. And I tried to lower the shelf so I could move the power tools up, but that down, yeah, that still won't fit with the box that goes with it. That box slides right in there just perfect. That tank's an inch too big to fit. So, yeah, the box goes up here with the gauges and the, oh, there's cans of sealant, coolant, and oil and tools and thermometers, all that stuff to work on AC's system is all in that box. And that's about the best place to put it, since I got nothing else up there. See, nothing. And, yeah, that's the engine oil run. The upside down one's empty. And uh, that cardboard box is supposed to be where I carry Hytran, but I've never gotten the Hytran in here yet. I still need to. And, yeah, hose reel for the fuel tank. It's not hooked up to the tank, so we still pull the other hose off the back of it. But lucky I had to use my lights this morning. And they're working nicely to see i mean you can see enough this one's up there to shine across everything and no most of this stuff is not full most of it's empty because i just haven't had the time to fill it all and really mm, i may not even i don't know we'll see i'm not sure how well they're going to hold up with bolts in them that one might have some in it but i know these are pretty much empty. And God knows what else is in here. Yeah, that's a grinder. That's a uh, earthquake 20 volt. I actually love that little grinder. It uh, puts the Dewalt 18 volt to shame. Uh, yeah, I'm a little short on one end, so I had to get the stool out to put that up there. Which the stool, come on open stool sits right here but you can kind of see the quagmire there's really not a lot of space to put that stuff ideally that and the box of stuff would fit right there but i got nowhere else to put all that heavy stuff jack stands blocks air jack and then this stuff's kind of the same way where else do you put it I mean, I got, I got another compartment just like that. Kind of nice without the canopy from the pickup in the way I can walk through here. But the inherent problem with this compartment is it's got the framework inside it to support that. So built into that framework, yes, chains and binders, shovels, air hoses back here simply because I don't have the compressor hooked up, but I can still run off truck air. 
so I don't have a hose reel on here. Hose reel would be outside anyway. And this one was fun putting the lights in because I got the one up above and that one I put down below. And uh, long pry bar, that's actually a wrecking bar. That used to be a shaft off something, but it's a good bar. Oh, we can just look in from here. There's all the expensive shits in here. Look, if you want to steal something, get in that compartment. There's two DeWalt saws. Damn. Yeah. If you want to steal something, if you get past the dogs the first time, by the time you're trying to break these doors open, I'm pretty sure they'll find you. And this is where I was going to put that AC stuff, but it's not big enough for both. And I had this shelf up higher because the cooler was in here. Cooler. And uh, with the shelf right there, you can barely open the door to the cooler. And unfortunately with it right there, four inch grinder will fit. The drill with the handle off, it'll fit through this little hole. Because this is kind of in the way. That big grinder ain't gonna fit through there. So they may find some place else. I actually had plans. I'm making too long a video here. I had plans of putting a shelf in here for that stuff, but unfortunately, you know, it takes room to get the long bars and stuff in. So, yeah. No, I shouldn't lean on that. This one cable was broke when I got the box. So anyway, I'm just trying to reconfigure because I needed to work on the AC on the Massey. Well, if he'd cooperate... I just checked this little boy. He's early. He's early. He's they're just just broke through, so Barely. I would he's say he's four or five days early. And he's not a small boy. Oh yeah, they're saying one ear is bigger than the other. You'd think he was a Canadian calf then, huh? He's got that big head. One froze off, one not. Oh well. I gotta go to the store. Anyway. Now we know. He's early. That's okay. He's big enough. Good job, give him, Mary. Give him a week. You won't know he was early. Got a little tick on his back, too. Yeah, I'll give you a quick view from here. It's uh, way too late in the day, and we ain't going yet, but calf this morning slowed things down, among a few other things. She got grease and done, and I was going to fuel, but I've been on the phone with a gal from USDA getting the crop report taken care of so she just started fueling this one then we'll get mine done and hey i found out i, I could be famous a couple people at the usda office that have seen my videos so and the gal says she's gonna watch some she says she likes the area and i told her if you want to see some views i get a few so hey any of y'all from usda that are watching Thank you, I appreciate it. You see how dysfunctional we really are. No, I only show the good stuff, I don't show the bad stuff. No, actually I just show everything as it happens because it's all real. I ain't gonna screw around with staging everything. And hopefully we're gonna get the other, no, there's between 10 and 15 acres up there that's not done over the first time. Hopefully we can get that down and get the second time over before it rains. And maybe the rain will all miss us, we'll see. But anyway, I just thought I'd say thank you to the USDA people. I always enjoy talking to them, even though I avoid their phone calls, because it's like, oh God, I ain't got time for that right now, you know? My apologies on that part, but I do enjoy talking to everybody that I've ever talked to from there. Yeah, the long runs are gonna get short pretty soon. Actually, it's already shorter on that side. And I was worried I didn't quite get parallel to that over there, but and I think it was all optical illusion the way the hill works. The humpy bumpies I'm talking about, let me just watch the front of the tractor. But when I hit them with the disc crossing them, see spots where they're like a line of grass. That's where the humpy bumpies are. The disc is peeling it like that. So there'll be a stripe of 
big clod sticking up and a stripe of grass next to it. She's knocking them out pretty good, so. And she's happier this morning, right? So I'm getting her AC working. It was, I don't know how low it was. I don't have a scale, but and there wasn't much left in the bottle. I'm sure I put a pound in anyway. Got all that was left in the bottle, so. She's happier. And, you know, it's just looking iffy out. If it rains, I know we're done for the day because I won't be able to pull this hill at all once it gets wet. Oh well. Still be a day. Oh, well, it'd be raining right over there. And yeah, I think you're going to be more on my windshield. But, hey, we're still moving. Maybe we'll get a little ways, maybe we won't. I'd like to uh, at least finish from here out to the road. Well, Google told me about an hour ago or an hour and a half ago that it was supposed to rain in our county at 6 p.m. I'll show you some of the old stuff here. I'm not sure what those two buildings used to be. But, you know, that would like maybe they used to be chicken houses or something. There's the old house in the trash. Anyway, <laughs> it started sprinkling again at 5. About the 10th time it sprinkled, but it got to where my whole hood was wet. The front's still wet. Uh, we got sticky and now we're past sticky. And she's only got a narrow strip left over there. We're going to call her quits for the night here in a minute or two. I'm just running around kicking some of these extra grassy spots while I can still move. Um, yeah. That'd be our day. We still got the top half to do. Don't if I get the right lever to raise it is. I can't turn right with it in the ground. Well, I can, but it's not a good thing. Um, uh, up there, you can see the light strips. I got like maybe five or six passes that go all the way through. They come out up in the other house up there. Other than that, we got above there to do yet too. I wanted to let that dry up above, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna pick a spot right in here somewhere. Get far enough ahead that she's got room to park me. So neither one of us are underneath the tree directly. And I charged her AC this morning, and I hate doing that when it's not real warm out. Once it got warm out, she was having issues with the pumps, with the belts feeling. Well, yeah, I'm afraid of that. It's overpressured, so. Well, mess with that in the morning if it ain't raining too hard. But anyway, there's your video, and there's a look at the old house, the backside, anyway. Definitely is getting pretty sad. I think she built a new one eight, maybe ten years ago. And the little one just sits here. In its day, it was probably a really, really nice house. I've never been in it. Ain't been in her new one either. I never will. But anywho, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all had a good Thursday and yeah, if the weather match wrong, we'll be back out here tomorrow. If he's right, we ain't going to be back out here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.